there are reasons why you need more than one exchange. Because there is a particular set, you will see opportunity to trade in one exchange, you will not be able to trade it. And it is on the other exchange. So there is need for you to roll to that exchange and carry out that trade. Another reason is fee. The fee you pay when it comes to trading crypto. If you are trading this thing once in a blue moon, it, it may not matter to you, but if you are a consistent trader, a day trader that trades for a living, then you need to pay attention to the amount of fee that you pay when you are trading crypto. Because the fee you trade can take, if not um, 80%, it can take half of the funds or the profit you are going to be making. And remember, it is not um, every time that you enter the market that you'll be making profit. So by bid, my recommendations for all of you um, who wants to get into crypto trading is there are three exchanges that I'm recommending for you in 2022 that you can use to trade crypto conveniently that charges a very low fee when it comes to trading features. And one of them is Binance, the second one is Bybit, and the third one is Wobi. So here, if you carry out four trades a day and you are trading um, every day for 30 days, it should be about 120, then you cannot choose the exchange you want to trade with. If I go ahead and select Bybit, which is what I'll be demonstrating the trading strategy with you today, and I go ahead and click on run these strategies, you will see that with my leverage, one, one X, now as a beginner, you need to actually start with a very low leverage. But I trade between 25 to 100 X. That is what I trade with, what I'm comfortable with. When I'm sure that the market will go in my favor, I go with as high as 100X in my leverage. So if you are going to use one X, you're actually going to be making $20 at the end of 30 days using one X to trade. Why, if I go to Wobi, for instance, Wobi will be giving you about $22. So Wobi charges a little lesser than Bybit. And if I go ahead and change this leverage to 50X, if I change this leverage to 50 with Huobi, your $100 could make you about 12,000 to 13,000 in a month. Why, if I go back to Bybit, that is because of the fee actually, because here you see that at the end of the day, you are making this amount of money, you are paying this as fee. Now, if I'm trading with $100 and I'm having 70% uh, win rate, it means that the other 33, out of 100%, the other 33 that losses. So the loss will be this, and then the, the profit, the fees will be this, and you are going to make this. So with Bybit, that should be around 7,000 to 9,000 um, USDT in a month if you carry out four trades in a day. So the, 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 the exchange you are using to trade matters. It determines the amount of money you will make at the end of the day. So that is exactly what I wanted to show you. Now to the strategy that we are going to use. Currently, you will see, I have a trade that is currently running. This is a trade and already is in profit. And my target is to take profit when this trade gets to 49. I'm going to close this trade at the end of the day. It will not exceed today. But if it doesn't get to 49, I will actually close it when it gets to 47 or 48 or thereabout. So my target is between 47,000, 48,000, and 49,000. If it doesn't hit 49, then I'll close it sometime when it gets to 48 or 47,000. Already it has hit 47,100, but I'll just hold on and see if it will push up again and I'll just you know close the trade and so on. Now, how do I know when to enter the market, when to exit the market, and so on? What I simply do is using two simple indicators. When I come in here to trade in view, what I want to do is first, I will choose the time frame that I'm going to trade with. And that time frame, because I'm going to scalp the market, will be five minutes. It's going to be five minutes time frame. After choosing my time frame, the next thing I want to do is to add the indicator. And the first indicator that I want to add there is the one that is called the cut now. Um, channel. This indicator here, I'll go ahead and click on it, and that will be added into my, my chart. So first, I'll go ahead and configure this indi indicator by hovering over the KC um, indicator here, and then click on this settings icon here. Once I click on it, on the input, I want to change the length from 20 to 100, and the multiplier, I will leave it as 1, and then I will uncheck this exponential MA. So I'll go ahead and uncheck this. And basically that is all I need to do here. And after that, you go ahead and click on OK. So this indicator will serve 
as our signal, our, our, both our entry and our exit signal. That is what we're going to use this indicator for. So this indicator, now the way we are going to use this in um, KC indicator is, whenever these candlesticks are, are trading above this indicator, we are going to be looking for a buy opportunity. Whenever you see this candlestick trading above this indicator, we are going to be looking for a buy opportunity. And then when the candlesticks are trading below the indicator, we are going to be looking for a sell opportunity. Now, when it comes to trading future, we have a term we use as short and long. Shorting is you are selling. You are predicting that the price will go down. Longing is you are buying. You are predicting that the price will go up. So if, for instance, this trade that I entered here, what I simply use is when this um, I was actually trading around here, this is when I entered that, that trade. If I come back to the trade here, you will see my entering price here was around 46, um, 46,600, which was around um, 46,600 around here. This was where, where it was somewhere around here. So I saw that this actually came up here, pushed up and then came back again and is using this KC indicator as a support. So now that is bouncing back again, I now entered a long market, hoping that it will get to 47, which has already got into. So if I um, wanted to take profit at 47, I would have at least made $50 out of this market and exit the market. So, but my target now is to make profit when this gets to um, 49. And that is because of the amount of leverage that I'm actually using. Right here, this trade I'm using, in this trade, I'm just using 25X in this trade. I'm using 25X using the cross margin. But if I have used 100X by now, I would have closed this trade because I would have made um, money in this market and then exit the market. So this is the first um, indicator we are going to use. Make sure, please understand this. You use this KC indicator to determine when to long the market and when to short the market. So when the candlesticks are trading above this indicator, you are going to be looking for a long opportunity for a buy opportunity. And then when you see the candlestick trading below this um, KC, um, channel, KC indicator, you are going to be looking for a short opportunity. For instance, I would have shot this market somewhere around here, and then I would have taken profit around here or around here. So that is one of the indicator we are going to be using. And the second, indicator we are, we'll be using is the OCC alert indicator. So um, this open, close, cross, alert, RC indicator is the next indicator we are going to be using. So I'll go ahead and click on it to add it up to my chart. And this is how the indicator looks like. And basically we don't need to do any setting in this indicator. So what we are simply doing, doing here is when these candlesticks, when we see this um, candlesticks trading above the KC indicator, this and um, then this other OCC is giving us um, a, a green signal. We look for a buy opportunity. So when it is now trading, when the candlesticks are trading below the KC indicator, and this is giving us a red signal, we go ahead and look for a sell opportunity. That is exactly what we are going to do. So whenever you see this actually trading um, above this, you see it trading above this, and then this is giving you a green signal, um, which is, you see the green signal is always above the OCC um, indicator, the, the trend line there, the middle line there, and then the sell signal, the red signal are below. So when you see a red signal, it means that you should enter a buy order in the, in the market. If you see a green signal, you enter. So that is exactly what I saw here. Somewhere when I entered that price at 46,600, I saw a green signal popping up. So when it started popping on, I decided to enter the market and the result that I'm getting in the market is what you see right now. So if it hits my target of 49 or 48 or 47 plus, then I'll be closing that trade in profit. Another thing you can do is use this calculator, the calculator option here to calculate the, any market you want to enter. For instance, how much will it cost me to trade one Bitcoin using 100X leverage? So if I go ahead and say I want to trade one Bitcoin and I want to enter the market when Bitcoin is 46,000, for instance, and I will exit the market when it gets to 47, 
and I want to trade with 100 eggs, I'm trading one Bitcoin. So what this calculation um, calculator is simply telling you is that it will cost you a total of 460 USDT. Remember, Bitcoin is 46,000 because I'm using 100x leverage. It's going to cost you only 460 USDT to enter this market. And if Bitcoin increases from 46,000 to 47, which it has played out now, if I was using 100x, this is what I would have been expecting to make about 1,000 USDT if you are using this. If you risk 460, you would have made, and then your trade plays are from 46,000 to 47,000. You would have made a thousand USDT, and you know your return on investment would have been at, at 217 percent of that trade. So with this, it means that if I enter this market now, when you finish calculating this, and you know how much is going to cost you, this is the how much it will cost you. The next thing you need to know is how much, how fast will your account be liquidated? Remember that the more leverage you use, the closer your liquidation price. Because I am using 20x leverage, I am using 25x leverage for this trade, my liquidation price is actually at 37. Because I am using 20x, 25x leverage, my liquidation price is at 37. But if I'm using 100x leverage, now how do you know the liquidation price? The next thing is to come here to this liquidation price option. Remember, we enter the market at 46 and we are trading one Bitcoin, we are using 100x leverage. If I come in here, I want to know how much it will cost me to use the same 100s leverage, trading one Bitcoin and entering the market at 46. It means that I'll be liquidated at 45,770. This is when I'll be liquidated at 45,770. So this is when you are going to be liquidated. You have to take this into consideration before you enter or you set your leverage that you are going to use so that you will not just enter the market blindly and before you know it, your account is liquidated because um, if we look at my trading view here, for instance, um, I believe Bitcoin actually got to, did it, did it get to 45? If I come back here to trading view, so I entered the market somewhere around here. I entered the market somewhere around 46. Okay, it didn't get down to 47, which means that I, you know, if I've used 100 eggs, I would have been lucky to make a thousand dollars. It didn't get down to 40, 40, uh, 45, 700. But in a case where the market reverses before you hit your stop loss, you would have been liquidated. And when you are liquidated, you will lose either the money you are raised. In this case, if you are using isolated, you will lose that 40, um, 47, actually. And another thing that, uh, that is worth noting is the calculator. When you are using the calculator here, now this is when I'm using um, the isolated option. It means that if I'm liquidated at 45,700, I would have lost that 450, 460 USDT that we got here initially. The 460 that we got here initially, I would have lost that. But if I use the cross, margin as, as i'm using right now because i'm trading with cross margin if i use the cross margin and i'm going to use um 100x first it will ask me available balance in my account so i'm using 100x what is the available balance in your account remember that i told you when you're trading with cross you're trading with everything on your account that is why when i change to cross margin here it actually asks me for balance so if i say 1000 usdt is what i have on my account and i'm trading one bitcoin i'll be liquidated this time around at 45 200 i'll be liquidated at 45 200 what if i have like um 5000 usdt so i'll be liquidated at 41 which this price you are looking at right now has not gotten to 41 yet since i entered this trade it has not gotten so i entered around here around here and it has been in the upward um, direction since i entered the market so Meaning that if you have um, done this analysis and entered the market using 100X, and then you traded one Bitcoin, entered at 46, okay. I entered at 46,600, let me use 46,600. And then right now the market, the price, the current price now is at um, 47. So if you take profit at 47, for instance, so you would have made 400 USDT risking 466 USDT. It is as simple as that. 
If this goes up and gets to 47,500, for instance, then you'll be making 900. If it gets to 48, in this case, let's say it gets to 48, if the market continues to go higher and it gets to 48, you are making <laughs> about 2,300 USDT trading with this high number of leverage. Before you use this 100 as leverage and then you are using cross margin, please be aware that you have enough funds that will sustain you until your trade hit its target. You cannot just go and trade. If you do that, um, you will be liquidated and you will lose everything you have on your account. That is just all I need to show you in this video or in today's meeting. Yeah, thank you, Aluna. Thank, thank you for sir. that. Yeah, the OCC a lot. We, when I try, I tried it. I saw there are a couple of them there. Which one is the right one? OCC alert, cross RCs. OCC alert, RCs. Um, R once you come, once you come in here, and you type OCC here. There are a lot of them, but the one you are going to be looking at is R this one at alert RCs by just R Uncle, or just Uncle L. Yes, this is the one you are going to actually use. Okay. And if you want to know more about this indicator, you can just come in here and click on this read more option here and you learn more about that indicator. So once again, this is the um, indicator you are going to use the open, close, cross, alert, RCs by just Uncle L. So that is the one you are going to use. Okay. And another thing, um, I don't understand the concept uh, cross margin and accelerated margin. What do they mean, cross margin and isolated? It just is it just a name? No, no it is not just a name. They have the they, they they have functions. What they do actually. Now, what I was explaining is, if I have a, a ten thousand dollars in my account, in most cases, when you are using cross margin to trade, when you are using cross margin to trade, you will not, and then you have enough funds in your account. If I have ten thousand dollars in my account. And I'm risking 170 USDT to open a position. This liquidation price will not be here. Because it means that Bitcoin will need to get to, let's say, 15000 or even $10,000 for my account to be liquidated. That is because I am trading with a cross margin. Now, if for any reason my account is liquidated, if I don't put stop loss on my trade and my account is liquidated, I will lose okay. everything. That $10,000 that I have on my account, I will lose all of them. Okay. Now, with isolated, if, for instance, this trade was isolated, it means that to trade, even if I don't put stop loss, I am going to be risking 170 USDT in this trade. If I don't put stop loss and my account is liquidated, I'll be losing this 170 <clears throat> USDT as against losing the entire account. With cross okay. margin, you lose your entire balance. But with isolated, you are losing only this position margin, the margin that you are using to carry out that trade alone. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Which makes sense. Yeah. But the, the, another thing is with cross, it can give you a higher um, space to make higher profit. Why with isolated, you are limited. You are just isolated to that particular amount of money you are risking. And the money you are going to make is according to the amount you are risking. So cross one is to, is a higher risk. Mm -hmm. It's higher risk and then higher profit. Okay. Yes. Yeah, for beginners like us. Hello, good afternoon. Please, yeah, for beginners, if you are a beginner, go with isolated and always trade between one, at, at most go with 20x leverage. This is the leverage. You can set your leverage here. Go with 20x leverage. Don't go above that. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, please. I just have two questions. Um, concerning the, when you were showing us on trading view, the KC indicator, what were the parameters you use? And is that a constant? And also, um, when, um, when you are checking the calculator for both that's on the buy bit side, when you're putting in the figures, your entry price and then the amounts you wanted, that place you indicated one Bitcoin. Is there a must that you must be also using that one Bitcoin? No, 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 no. That is why I said, okay, let me start with that. That is why I said, if you don't know what to put here, just use mm -hmm. the, the percentage option here. If I have 1,000 okay. and I'm going with 10%, it means that I'm going to be trading with 10% of my balance. Mm. you understand okay. now if you use the calculator you don't really need yes. to 
to to use uh, one Bitcoin. For instance, if I come in here and I want to trade, now the leverage actually determines the amount of money you are going to be risking. If I'm, I come yeah. in here and I, I want to trade with 100x leverage, and instead of trading one Bitcoin, I want to trade zero point, as you can see on this trade here, what I'm trading here, wow. the position I open here is 0 0.09. If I go ahead and do, okay. yeah, 0 0.09, um, 0 0.09 here. And then I enter the market at 46 and I want to exit the market at 47, for instance. Yeah. So it will cost me with 100X leverage, sorry, let me make it 100. With 100X leverage is going to cost me 40, 41 USDT. Okay. Because okay. of the quantity of Bitcoin that I'm trading. If I'm trading one Bitcoin here, it will cost me $466. Yeah. But okay. because I am trading lower amount of Bitcoin, fraction. zero point, I have some fraction of Bitcoin, 0 0.09, it's going to come in just 41 USDT. Okay. And if this okay. hit my target, it means that I'll be making 36 USDT mm -hmm. as profit. And what I was saying, so that's 0 0.099. Is it like that's the amount of Bitcoin in your wallet you are willing? No, 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 no. This is not the amount. Trade. This is not the amount. I have Don't more than this one. See, the amount. Now, I can trade one Bitcoin with as low as $500 in my, in my account. Okay. Do you understand? Now, if yes, I reduce this to the 125, I, I'm using what the current trade that is running now is 25x. Mm. If I reduce it to 25x, now, and, and I'm trading one Bitcoin, instead of using 466, this time around, because the leverage is lower, I am going to be using, I need around 1,864 to be able to enter this market. Okay. okay. You understand? The higher the leverage, the lower the amount of money you yes. are risking. The lower the leverage, the, high, the more the amount you are going to be using to enter the, uh, the market. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. one thing you need to one thing you need to understand is that when you use a higher leverage, the closer your liquidation price as well. Mm. Uh -huh. So you need mm. enough money in your account to be able to use a higher leverage, and be sure that the market is moving in your direction before you can use hundred x. If you don't test run this uh, many times and it's working for you, you don't go and use hundred x because you may end up losing losing money in the market. So, um, so Lena, this this x, one uh, x, two x, three x, they are all called leverage. Yes, they are all called leverage. Now, with this, you don't need forty six thousand dollars to trade Bitcoin. That is exactly what the leverage simply means. Okay. Yeah, you don't need forty six thousand to trade Bitcoin. So, if I'm using one x leverage, it means that they took um, I need around thirty eight thousand or thereabout. And then if I use ten x, whatever. So, the more the leverage, the lower the amount you are going to be using to trade one Bitcoin. So if I use 100 X here, it means that you are going to just need, um, I think this is like 10% of 46, right? 10% mm. of 40. So you need 10% of that amount of money to be able to um, actually trade that particular asset. So that, that money has to be in your balance. Is that what it means? Yes. yes, you need to have, if you are going to be using More this, you need to have at least 500 in your account to be able to trade one Bitcoin. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that KC indicator now, what are the parameters you use? Is that a constant? Um, it's not constant. It is not constant. And um, you can set, but this is what has been working for me actually. You can leave it as default. If I come in here to settings, um, you can leave this. The default is 20 here yeah, always. And then the multiplier is two. So you can leave it as default. This multiplier doesn't mean anything. The multiplier is just to increase the weight of this indicator. So if you leave it as one, you see that it shrinks it down. And because I'm using a smaller screen, I need to you know, do this and uh, reduce this so that it's it, of Yeah. So this doesn't mean any, um, the, the 100, if I put it back to the 20 that it was before, um, this is the default. So you can use it, you see, the, the 20 is how, like, I don't know how to explain this. The way the, the this follows the wave the of the, yeah, the price, the, the price action and the rest. But when you make it 100, it gives you a clearer picture of the direction of that indicator. Where it's going. Exactly. 
So when I make it under, you see that it's, it's straightening instead of just following the more clear. Uh -huh, so that yeah. now I will see exactly when this um candlesticks are trading above the indicator and then when they are trading below the indicator, I'll see more clearer than just using a lower um, length. Okay. Yeah. Any other question as regards well, this? How do you calculate your um, stop loss? Well, stop loss, uh, the general view is that always reaches one percent of uh, your capital. Now, when they say one percent, some persons will think is one percent of your the ten dollar you are ready to raise. Now, by default, when you are trading with isolated option, you actually whether you put stop loss or not, you are actually risking a particular amount of money. If this trade was on isolated. Mm -hmm. That means I am ready to risk $170. In as much as this price does not get to the liquidation price, I am ready to risk this. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But because I'm trading with cross margin, if, he, if this gets to 37, I will lose everything. So when you want to calculate your risk, if you have 10,000 and you want to uh, risk 1%, um, 1% of $10,000 would be how much? Um, that was 100. 100. It means that for every trade you are entering, if you come here to the calculator, you are going to be risking just $100. For instance, if you are trading with isolated option and um, you are trading with 100x, instead of trading one Bitcoin, because one Bitcoin is going to be, uh, cost you around 460. So if you want to If you want to calculate the risk, you know, let's say we we'll go with 0 0.1. 0 0.1 will cost us 46. We'll go with 0 0.2. It will cost us around 93. So instead of trading one Bitcoin, you can go ahead and trade. Why is it showing? That is, if I long the market, leverage is 100x. Quantity is 46,600. OK, this is 4,747, yeah. Uh, so, if I want to risk, I have um, um, 10,000, right? I want to risk 1% of my 10,000 means that I can only risk, um, you can actually re, um, go with um, one Bitcoin. You can trade one Bitcoin, which will cost you 466. Then your stop loss will now be 1% of the balance. So it means that when this price goes against you and it gets to, um, to let's say $100, if I come in here, let me put a stop loss on this um, trade. Uh, if I want to set a stop loss here. So I want to assume that my account has $10,000 in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the trading account. If I come in here to the stop loss, I only said take profit, I didn't set stop loss. So if I want to set, set stop loss, I'm going to be risking 1% of my account. So this is 17. If it gets to 25, it will be 43, 50, it will be 86. 75 will be around 100. So I can risk 50%. So it means that Bitcoin needs to get to 45, 600 for me to lose $86, which is approximately 1% of the 10,000 that I'm risking. You understand? So it means that when you enter the market and the price, and the market start going against you, instead of you waiting until the market gets to your liquidation price, whenever it is minus 86 or $100, you go ahead and close the trade. Yes. You understand? So automatically mm. when I put this, when it gets to this level, it will close the trade. It means that I've lost like 1% of my trading balance. Then I will hope again to make more profit. Now, if you are using a one to two um, reward ratio, you'll be targeting to make two times this amount of money you are risking. You understand? In this case, I'm going to be risking 86. Then I want to take profit when it gets to 49 which is around 260, which is still the same, uh, almost the same thing that I'm risking. I'm making two times the money that I'm actually risking if it hits my target. I don't okay. know if you get that, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yes, um, Stephen, okay, 2020, I don't know where you joined this from. Um, the, I have, the Telegram channel and the WhatsApp group where I post the update for the meetings. So whenever we have meetings like this, I post them on the Telegram group or the WhatsApp. So 
um, I don't know which one will be convenient for you. The Telegram, I prefer the Telegram because Telegram will carry more people um, instead of the WhatsApp. So yes, there is a group for that. Please, is this still prime bot? Yes, um, Stephen, I told us on the group, my target or my aim this year is to help everybody understand everything about crypto in general. So if I talk about prime bot today, I talk about um, features, I talk about other things and the rest. I, and the reason why I'm emphasizing on features is that when you understand how to trade features better, you'll be able to make money faster in the crypto, in the, in the, in the market, than just relying on the board that is trading only spot for you. So if you have any question as regards prime board, yes, you can ask a question and I'll take them now. So how much, how much is um, the ideal amount to start trading futures? You can start with any amount you have. Like $100? You can start with $100, yes. And the only thing is for you to manage your risk. For you to manage so if risk. I start with $100, um, okay, you okay, you just be you know, taking one trade a day, maybe. You can take as many trades a day. Remember, scalping is you making money on the market uh, with... Uh, little price movement of the market so you can trade with as many as many once you have the opportunity to do that if you don't if you're not on the telegram group that's the link to join the telegram group actually um you can trade you can be risking ten dollars and to be making money in the market risking 20 and the rest so you can trade as many times as you see opportunity in the market in a day in a day yes 